Hey guys, welcome back to Fair Fires with Revenge. This is Steven Dam. And, well, we're almost out of the game, really. Two babies and not many tokens left, so. Really, we don't have much left of this. So, why did I cut it out before? Well, I'll tell you why later on. But for now, let's focus on this. For this, we have to figure out what to do with this machine here. So let's press this button first. Doesn't seem to like that. Uh, so we'll have to do something in order to... Um, no, I didn't want to fuck... Okay, let's try this again. We have to actually go down here, in which there'll be a little machine here in which we can sink the water. This will lower the boat, as well as, you know, lower them. And we can actually set this as an advantage to use that claw machine to basically take this, well, it's like an engine, and put it into that thing over there to do something. Maybe with that elevator, I don't know. By the way, there is an elevator there, so it does seem like there is the exit right there. But... Let's not worry about that right now. Let's worry about this machine here. There's also some tokens here which we need, but we can't get them right now until we do this. Hooray! We did it! Now we can get these tokens, and there's a door that leads to nowhere because there's nothing to really stand on there. And we can go up to this roof here to see the be pixelated beaver power thing here. And we can find that there's nothing to find here, there's nothing to do here, and that this whole entire little spot here is completely pointless. And in fact, this whole entire boat is completely pointless when you think about it, so, uh, yeah. Fuck the boat. We're leaving. By the way, there is a ladder here in case you do fall down here, but why would you? There's nothing inside there, don't even bother. Uh, let's backtrack. By the way, I'm gonna jump cut, because this is a long time to backtrack here, so, uh, yeah. Right, so down here are some tokens. We will take those tokens. We need to get all the tokens anyway, because, you know, babies are important, but tokens are a lot harder to find. So, 89 tokens. We're doing good so far. Let's see, where else should we go? Well, there is that one area that we haven't explored yet. So let's go back to that area. There should be some enemies there too, just waiting for us. Right about now. There we go. All right, so this area. This area is important because we need a certain character for this one and sadly Tweak is not that certain character. Or some ammo over here, we need it, but we don't have the weapon for that ammo yet. I have no idea what that ammo is yet, so... Just have to forget about it, but for now... The platforms have now become a bit more... Slanted. So we can easily slip off, but... Not to worry, we can get through this. As you can see, we need Bungalow. But, uh, Bungalow's back there, and all I see here is Rico. Hmm, I wonder why. Let's uh, just get up here and uh, you know see what we can get. Just go up here. Now it's obvious I need bungalow for this because you know these jumps are not easy as any other character. But I decided to challenge myself and go up these as tweak, which did not go well the first time because yeah I fell in. But it is possible I did indeed go through that. And by the way, slippy bastards. But yeah, this isn't hard to do as not bungalow, but it's difficult because you need to really time your jumps and all. And as you can see, I did it. So now I need to go over here, and there's a button here, so let's press it. Why not? We press all the buttons. It sinks the water. 
I'll be thinking, oh, that's not too bad, you know, just sink in the water. Who gives a shit? It's just water. You're gonna love the backfire here. Basically, when it comes to this, the backfire is that with the water down, you can't actually traverse over there. Yeah. Uh, no one can actually get over to where that baby is anymore now because the water's down. The water is there to fuck you over more than help you. If you really need those tokens, you could have used Rico over there, but... Yeah, did not help. The worst part is that you can't actually get to the exit either when that happens, so... Really, you just fuck yourself over in both ways if you press both buttons. Which sucks. There is a way to get the water back for both of these rooms, but... As it stands, it's like... You're screwed here, you can't do anything. You can't go back to the exit, and you can't get the baby if the water's down. So, what do you do? How do you get it back? Well, after about 15 minutes of trying and failing, I decided to kill myself. And what I found is, the water comes back when you die. This water here where the boat is, this, this sinks no matter what, but the water from those two rooms does come back as long as you don't press the buttons again. The buttons do not help. The buttons are a trap. Do not press them. Now, I was actually going to just make this entire part, you know, based on what I saw at the time and everything. Which is why I cut it out the way I did before, for point five. But... Then I found out that this video would be extremely short if I decided to go ahead with this. So, um, instead of cutting it down and showing you the baby and everything, I decided to just show you everything. Because there's one thing I don't like when it comes to making these videos, it's making a short video. I like to make long videos, like actual long videos. I don't know, I just, I just like having a big length of my videos more than anything. I want to have it, I want to have more content really to show. I don't want to like, shorn it down to an abridged version, because you don't get much from that. Unless you're making a bridge series, in which case there's a lot of content you can make from that, but what I mean is, a short video isn't going to bring much, in my opinion, while a longer video, like... Like, you can have a lot of room to talk with a long video, and you can have a lot of things to see and the show and everything with a longer video. And by the way, we just saved the sixth baby, which is called Dwayne. So, hi say hi to Dwayne. We saved Wayne. Hooray. Right, let's be Rico and get through this now. So, um... Yeah, I... I spent a lot of time in this level, but it was mainly because... I was just... Trying to figure stuff out. Like... I can't really remember this game much. This is like... One of those games I haven't played for a long time, and... My memory of it is just... Off, basically. So I'm not going to remember everything. There are going to be things that I don't remember at all. And it's going to be very, very bad. But, but, I will at least try to do my very best to accomplish the majority of the things right. Which is what I do here. I do accomplish things a lot better with knowledge of my past experience. Even if I do fuck up, I'm still going to keep going to actually accomplish this, to actually beat this. Really, when it came right down to it though, I I wasn't doing very good at this game. So I, I want to do better with it. I want to do better with a lot of games I've played in my past but can't really remember very well. But really, I, I just wanted to make this video, you know, worth talking about, worth being long, but 
then I found out about 15 to 20 minutes of it was me like walking around trying to figure out what the fuck to do with the water being down. And it was a waste of time and it pissed me off. And really I don't want you to watch me wander around doing nothing so I cut all that out. But then I found I shortened it way too low to what I normally have as a length. So, this is going to be a sort of short video, but really, you won't, you won't mind, because to you, like, 16, 15 minutes is, like, long enough for you guys, apparently. It's not long enough for me. I, I like them longer. Anyway, the elevator is now activated, so we can actually go up as Tweak in the elevator, which we need to be Tweak for this, because the final baby is Tweak's baby, whose name is Gweek. And Gweek is pretty much right at the entrance, so prepare to say hi to Gweek because he's just. It's a long elevator, by the way. Is just right there. And thus we saved week and we got all the babies. So now we just have the tokens, which there are some tokens around here. And I thought there would be like something with this, you know, like some kind of hidden token or something above the elevator or somewhere in the elevator area. Because it was like that before with the last elevator when, when there was a gap in the top of the roof and all. But no, there's actually nothing here. It's a long fucking elevator, and I'm going to make you watch me go through this so I can make this video longer. I know! I know, that's stupid of me. Especially after I cut out like 15 minutes and you're wandering around doing nothing, but I don't want this video to be short. I don't want this video to be shorter than 15 minutes. Like, 15 minutes is the minimum for me right now. So there's nothing up there, there's nothing around. I try again, thinking, you know, this, this there must be something up there, but no, no, there is nothing. So I decided not to bother at some point, and I just continued on. I just continued on to get the tokens because that was important. Also, this button is fucking broken now. That's great. So, uh, yeah, I'm continuing on forward because there's no point to on the elevator for now. By the way, ambush everywhere. There's a lot of enemies around here that are trying to ambush me now. The next hole will have an ambush of bears. Yep. And the next area will have an ambush of alligators. Premature alligators. We're missing two tokens though. And it's not here. Yeah, there's another place I missed. Remember that part where I said that that roof back there had nothing on it, except for health and shit. Well, I might have forgotten about it. You see, it actually does have tokens on it. All, both of them. As soon as I saw them, I got really pissed off and yelled a bit. I was very angry. But... Really, it was my fault for not noticing that, not actually exploring that little bit. And instead of backtrack, I'm just going to kill myself because, you know, the teleporter is tweaks and boom. It leads me back here, so you know what, that's good enough. Alright, so that's everything. That's all the tokens, that's all the babies. We can leave now, we can be done, we can go to the exit, and we will never have to go back to Beaver Dam ever again. We are done with Beaver Dam. And we're done with all the levels in the second hub. All that is left is the boss. Which will be next part. And will not be a point five. None of the bosses are a point five, luckily. Because luckily, the bosses do not take that long. So, let's go all the way up to this elevator and exit. Alright. Enemies, yep, more enemies. Let's, let's not bother, let's not bother, let's just run. We can take the shots. Just run past them. 
And there we go. And there we go. So that took me a lot of time and, you know, not many kills, but what do you expect? Beaver Dam's a bitch, really, to me, and I wish I could have done better, but I have to go with what we saw. Oh well. Just letting you know guys, I was playing this game mute, so me fucking around with the music at the loading screens, you know that. I don't know what I'm listening to really, so... <laughs> but yeah, let's get rid of these bears and actually go up, because next time we'll be dealing with the next boss. Which... Is a kind of pain, if you don't know what to do, but otherwise, isn't that bad, so... Let's have that little animation of him dancing around, please. Next time on Fifth Eyes Revenge, we fight Juanita. Thank you for watching, goodbye.